Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Australia Cup action for season 2024. Electrifying atmosphere of the cup. We're here live at Darwin Football Stadium, Larrakia Park, to witness a clash of titans in round four between Darwin Olympic Sporting Club and Port Darwin FC. course in 2023 there was over 770 clubs that entered the qualification stages of the Australia Cup and this is where it starts the preliminary rounds here in the Northern Territory and only one of these two sides tonight will advance beyond this stage win jubilation lose and despair kickoff only moments away it will be Darwin Olympic to get us kicked off and underway They'll be going right to left on your screens in their traditional red and white stripes and Port Darwin in their claret and blue. Referee Nasir Jumon in the centre, ready to get us kicked off and underway. Seven thirteen local time. And kickoff is underway. Olympic get that ball rolling. Isaac Voicey plays it wide to Moreno. His pass. Goes dead centre, centre half to Will Reeve. Further wide across to Larry Niakuri. Controls and gives the ball away almost. And Tane Stevenson aims to recover. Does so momentarily, but that's Nguyen. Play it back to Highlard and looking to get forward quickly. They're brought down from McLennan. Cheering there, providing pressure. Now that's Connor Miller for Olympic. One of their new acquisitions in season 2024. Now the Reds controlling it in their defensive half. Pars goes laterally from Will Reeve to Tane Stevenson. Further wide here to their captain and Samuel Kwana. Now Juan Moreno still on the ball here, looking to advance forward. Looking for a pass. Headed away by Josh Chin. Done well. And Connor Miller still there on the ball. Centrally it goes to Will Reeve. Now Andrew Prifty, heavy touch. Can almost see his possession come away. And Port Darwin have the ball now. Pass goes back from Vazanellis. Go to the goalkeeper and Lee. Now Port Darwin looking to come out of defence. Joshua Chin with the ball. Advancing to his left and now Go back that direction and almost cut off there. And Port Darwin will play themselves into a bit of danger here and successfully done there by the centre half. And Adam Carrington just to play it off the Olympic attacker and out for a goal kick. Almost played themselves in a bit of danger there, the Wharfies, but they escape that with just a goal kick. Played short here to Joshua Chin. Back to his goalkeeper and Lee. Ball goes up into the air. Moreno will compete there and try to with Greenwood. Kwana back there with Crowden. Two captains and Crowden wins that one out. Throw in for Port Darwin. Bit of calm urged by his side. And look to go down the line. In for an option, Savas presents, Miller looking to go down the line and Chin retreats forward, Crowden going to come away from Kwana, Simon Crowden the skipper for the Wharfies, Paul comes out here to Savas and Savas further down the line to Nguyen, looks to skip away from Reeve, Reeve using his body there and wins the foul, defender getting right side of his man and the referee agrees and Pull Sport Darwin up for that foul. Now Olympic trying to come out of their defensive half. Stevenson switches sides to Reeve. Looking up and assessing an option. Prifty touches it wide to Niyakuri. Defender sorts his feet out. Looks to advance past Shering. And still Niyakuri. 
Pacing forward, Larry Niakuri, ball into the box. It comes down, Chin gets it away momentarily. Moreno, Prifty, back to Moreno. Chance to strike Moreno, and he strikes it directly to the palms, gratefully there, of Jason Lee. He'll come short here. Greenwood, looking to come forward for Nguyen, but Stevenson edged the forward out and takes front position. Allowing it to go back to his goalkeeper. Kikis. Now Reeve looking to find Miller, but it's cut out there almost expertly. Still retaining possession, Port Darwin. George Vazanellis comes back to Carrington. Centrally for Vazanellis. Another one of those acquisitions in the offseason coming to Port Darwin. An injury riddled a couple seasons prior to, but Finding a role in the middle of the park here for Port Darwin as Joshua Chin advancing with possession. Finds Crowden, keeps his feet. Kwana putting him under pressure. Back to Chin. And Chin will go all the way back to Jason Lee. Switches sides. Adam Carrington now. They want to try and get Savas on the ball. They're trying to now. Voice the intercepts. Now Prifty, chance to come forward. Over the top, chin heads. And intervening there, Craig Greenwood. Prifty getting it wide. Kathapoulos with the crossed attempt, but it's skewed wide and out of play for just a goal kick. Early signs there from Olympic. Trying to threaten the enemy area. Port Darwin quickly resume with the goal kick that goes back to the goalkeeper and Lee. Playing it amongst each other in the back line. Chin trying to get out of there. Moreno takes control. Nice turn away from Savas. Trying to dink it forward. Play on, says the referee. Hylard trying to get forward, but Connor Miller now. Lays one wide to Kathapoulos. Takes a touch and looks up. Trying to get past his man, and the cross did get a wicked deflection. Vazanellis out, but near Curry still. Cross comes in, again outside. Nguyen needs to do well here to keep the ball. Crowden, heavy touch, but into an advantage there. Referee says free kick for Port Darwin. And just a moment to breathe for the Claret and Blue side. Have been under the cosh here early on. Six and a half minutes gone on the North Crest scoreboard, and it is nil-nil. Early stages in this Australia Cup round four match. Crowden pressured by Kwana. Back to Carrington. Dinking it wide here. Here's Sonam Chering. Gives the ball away to Kathapoulos, and now Olympic can pounce. Ball coming forward. Carrington gets in the way. Look to get through to there. Commanding striker in Daniele Ferry, but cut out in the nick of time. Here is Isaac Voici to Tane Stevenson. That's Juan Moreno. Back to Stevenson. Stevenson forward, but misplaces it. Juan Moreno, skillful on the ball. Back to Juana. Good touches here by the Reds as Stevenson back to Moreno. Now Kwana. Good build-up play on the left-hand side. It hits Ferry on the way through. And Jason Lee comes to command possession. Throw it wide immediately. Now Sonam Sharing will look to come past near Curry. But Miller arrives as well to bring that attack to an end. It's developing for the Warfies. Now Geekus. Little lax with possession, but he finds the right outlet in Larry Niakuri. Now Miller, quick interplay from Olympic in the centre. Moreno, back to Connor Miller. Chance for Olympic to attack here. Good ball over the top. Nice run as well. Can Kathapoulos get right hand side? And referee says free kick. Going to the way of Port Darwin. Honest work there from Jake McGlennon to... Keep up with 
Kathapoulos, and in the end it was Kathapoulos that fouled the Port Darwin defender. Carrington heads down the line, although gives possession away. Nia Curry only heads it out into touch, so possession will remain with Port Darwin as they look to attack this left-hand side. A lofted throw, which Miller wins back out into touch. So another attempt for Jake McLennan to bring Port Darwin back in here. A nice cool breeze at Darwin Football Stadium and Larrakia Park. Comfortable conditions for football as Reeve heads inside. Simon Crowden, opportunity for Port Darwin perhaps. Possession, referee says play on as Isaac Voicey wins it back here. Moreno pokes it over the top, chin. Heads it out, Moreno. Moreno still with possession. Nice ball forward here, Prifty. Ferry turns well and a shot first time by Daniele Ferry. First one of the night. Not too bad from the tall forward. I've been told you supply him and he'll score. So we'll see if he can get some service throughout the night. Newen, nice, tries to combine with Highlight but can't quite. And Crowden gets a touch off as it goes out into touch. So Olympic will retain possession via his throw in. Certainly a game being played at energetic pace as we've passed 10 minutes. Kwana inside, Miller, and that's out of play. Good tackle there by Craig Greenwood. Perhaps it might be the substitute benches for both sides that may have an impact as this game goes on. Kwana inside and out of play into touch for a corner kick off the boot of Vazanellis there. So corner for Olympic. Of course, Daniele Ferry with the obvious choice to attack this corner if it does arrive indeed to his direction. Inside it comes, Ferry with the flick on. And Nguyen's there, still with Nguyen, trying to escape away from Moreno. And there's a free kick there on the Olympic man, trying to get away with the ball. So a set-piece opportunity for Darwin Olympic. Following their corner. And an opportunity here with Prifty and Moreno. But Prifty quickly ushers Moreno aside unless it's going to be a wicked curl on the left foot of Moreno. Prifty looks favourable to take this one. Kwana's peeled off to the left, perhaps just out of your screen, but from this distance, Prifty may fancy this. Going into the box, lofted well, and Lee makes a great claim. Confident keeping there from Jason Lee. Rises above to take it down. Hoofs it up into the air. Miscued kick as Moreno takes it down beautifully. Kwana in space. Looking to chip a ball forward here. And that one just will get through to Jason Lee as well. So currently firing at blank Stone Olympic. And Jason Lee up to the task as Greenwood trying to combine here with Vazanellis and Referee says, play on. Play on is the call. Voicey has the ball. Comes inside. Cleared away by Savas. Now Crowden. Backed up by Samuel Kwana. He'll want to try and accelerate away, but Kwana wins that battle. The captain for Olympic against the captain of Port Darwin. And that's a nice tackle from Crowden. Kwana was away. It will still remain with Olympic. And a quick throw comes out to Juan Moreno. Now Tane Stevenson. Looking to advance forward, away from Nguyen. And away from Savitz, Tane Stevenson. And referee says play on. Crowden. And Nguyen forward. Miller. 
near Curie. Miller looking to send it wide. Kathapoulos trying to keep it alive. Low cross. Carrington can deal with it, but gives it straight away to Daniele Ferry. Strike on goal, and it's blocked by Joshua Chin. That's a wonderful block from the young defender. Sends it behind. For a corner kick. So an opportunity with another corner for Darwin Olympic. Andrew Prifty has gone over to that far side to take this one. And it flick on, and that's a goal. It's the opening goal of the contest, and it goes to one of the new men in a red and white shirt. Connor Miller, the man who gets the last touch onto that one, into the back of the net. 1-0 to Darwin Olympic. 14 and a half minutes gone. And the Reds have an advantage already. Congested corner taken by the Reds. It went into a busy area and really got a final touch. Into the back of the net was Connor Miller. Be a little disappointed with the defending, perhaps. Jason Lee, the Port Darwin goalkeeper, but Olympic will take it. They're in front. Joshua Chin, Vazanellis, across to Carrington. Quick play now out to Greenwood. Back to Lee. Pressure applied as Lee's forced along. Voicey with a great header. Unorthodox touch there by Miller, but it worked. And Voicey back forward. Hylard trying to get it there. Carrington forces it wide. Crowd in there. Back to Greenwood. Shifts it forward. Touch off the Olympic man. Newen trying to come past Stevenson. Forces it back out wide. It's a good run here. Vazanellis continues. Cross comes a cross goal, but Sonam Chering couldn't quite get into an advantageous enough position to get it to the end of that. So just to Goal kick for Olympic. Quickly taken there, William Reeve. Cross here for Christos Gikas and now Tane Stevenson advancing with possession. Moreno, nice flick there. Voicey looking to release Kwana. Looking to advance past Hylard. Good tackle. And Greenwood goes into the book. I believe there. Craig Greenwood going into the book. I didn't quite see if a challenge was made, but I was a little unhappy on the challenge made on him by Stevenson moments before, so perhaps for descent. None the wiser at the stage as Olympic throw in. Ferry, nice flick on. Moreno, clean football by Olympic so far as Kwana gets to the end of this one. Cross comes inside, deflection off a Port Darwin player. Savas clears it long. Reeve, first time header to Nia Curry, away from Nguyen. Now Stevenson, trying to go on the left foot. Greenwood in the way. Voicey in space. Can Olympic make them pay? Moreno, Prifty, combining with Voicey once again. Urging to shoot by his teammates, but doing the selfless approach to Stevenson. Moreno. Stevenson opens the body, assesses an option. Not afraid to go backwards, but Olympic want to go forwards as Moreno dinks it into the box. Good control there from Ferry. Holds off his defender. Still Daniele Ferry on the ball, touching it back. Prifty. Light touches there. Olympic keep it alive. Still with Endry Prifty. Beautifully done, and 
Uh, almost by Kathapoulos into the back of the net. Attacking at will at the moment, it seems, down Olympic. As Jason Lee hoofs this forward. Stevenson heads strongly. Miller rises there with Vazanella. Savas now. Pauses it forward through to George Vazanellis. Nine to get to Sonam Chering, but gets it away. Here's Olympic. Kathapoulos tackled well by Vazanellis. Now Savas. To George Vazanellis. Savas continued his run. Newen's trying to advance for the forward. Oh, almost a perfect touch from Newen. And thankfully for Olympic, Stevenson was there just to clear his lines. A better touch there by Newen, and perhaps he would have been through on goal. And not to know this time. Thrown in board, Savas looking to combine with Shering. Miller, a bit of congestion there. Olympic can't sort their lines out. Comes across to Crowden. Back here for Craig Greenwood. Now Michael Hylard. His ball's given away. Kwana, Moreno. Pressure being applied by Newen. All the way back here to Stevenson. Reeve to Connor Miller. Larry near Curry. Back to Reeve. Stevenson's there. A little short. Needed to go back quickly. Geekus, the goalkeeper, joining in that passage of play. Reeve forward to Daniele Ferry. Looking to dink it over the top. Greenwood's there. Carrington pokes it in before Prifty can steal it. Chin. Carrington skillfully away. Trying to get forward is McLennan. Nice interplay with Savas. Now Sonam Chering trying to go back out wide to Savas, but unfortunately just continued further down the line his pass. I did say any of the positive stuff that would come from Port Darwin tonight would definitely come through the feet of Andrew Savas. Is an attacking architect for his side. Stevenson. Voicey. One of the young players of the competition last year and looking to really burst forward and make the league his own. It's Prifty. Allows it to run through. McGlennon. Now Sonam Chering. Near Curry arrived as well. Highlight trying to continue it forward. Referee says play on. Voicey. Trying to get out of danger here. Savas. Couple with him. Stevenson comes across and uses the body. Connor Miller now skips away for Olympic. Chance in the center for Miller. Instead goes wide. Now Samuel Kwana bursting down the left, looking to get a cross into the box. Headed away by Chin. All the way back for Kathapoulos to contain. Now Prifty for Olympic. Cross comes inside. Ferry. Oh, and that's a wonderful strike. Daniele Ferry, and he's off the mark for Darwin Olympic. A wonderfully controlled volley there. Daniele Ferry announces himself to Darwin football. And he's off the mark. The Italian-born striker puts Olympic two goals in front and has to be said, a wonderful volley. Much reward for all their efforts so far, Olympic. 22 and a half minutes gone. They've doubled their lead. And at the wonderful boot of Daniele Ferry. He's going to be striking him like that this season. He may have a number of goals to his name. The Reds continue. Savas backwards to Joshua Chin. Now, coming forward with possession was Vazanellis, tackled by Prifty. Referee says all ball, throwing in quickly, looking to go to Kathapoulos and away from Carrington. But the ball unfortunately trails out of play for a throw in to Port Darwin.
Going to go down the line, McGlennon to Chering, but Nia Curry gets the head up. Illegally, says the referee. Forceful contact on the winger. So free kick to Port Darwin. Ball sent long. Miller in the way. Prifty heads further on. Ferry looking to go over the top for Kathapoulos. Run looked to be made perfectly, but Carrington holds his line and holds the ball to Savas. Now Newen needs to go quickly here if they're to pounce on a counter-attack. Vazanellis combines out wide there with McLennan. Now Michael Highlight. Chin. Adam Carrington. His pass looking for Vazanellis, but Reeve takes possession and bullets it back to Christos Gikas. Plenty of time with possession. Reeve over the top. Olympic really playing with possession in their defensive half. Wide to Kwana. Quickly inside for Moreno. Now Prifty, Voicy, nice combination play. And now Kwana looks to be through on goal. The defender couldn't quite take possession comfortably. But that was nice play from Olympic. Combining it back and forward and almost through on goal there was Samuel Kwana. Back to his feet and his side of a corner. And they'll try to add their third. Kind of kick comes in. Ferry looks to get the header. Comes out. And now strike by Nia Curry. Blocked into the air by Chin. It's a contested ball up in the air. Near Curry against McGlennon. And goal kick, says the referee. So, Olympic leading two goals to nil. It's been their new acquisitions in Connor Miller and Daniele Ferry that have done the damage on the scoreboard. Certainly good signs for his coach as... Lee goes in, looking for sharing as Nia Curry gets there. Now Andre Prifty trying to run away from Hylard. Keeping up with him is the Wolfies man. Kathapoulos trying to get to the end of it. And the offside flag does go up against Kathapoulos. So Port Darwin free kick deep in their defensive half. As quick cut across to Ward Keller. Experts in family and criminal law as well as domestic violence, and you can reach them on 1-800-978-360. That's 1-800-978-360. Ward Keller. Territory law firm as Will Reeve heads out into touch. So Port Darwin throw. Diamond Barbers as well. Parat Bellamac, the Darwin CBD and Kulinga. Book now in 2024 and stay fresh with Diamond Barbers. As Port Darwin throw inbound. We're going to get a flick on there, Vazanellis. Reeve with plenty of time with possession. Firm pass back to Geekus. And now Stevenson. Hard running by Newen to keep up with him. Moreno trying to be delicate with the ball. Still with Juan Moreno. Cleverly done by Juan Moreno. Dinks it forward to Ferry. Looks to get the touch onto it. Hylard combining with Savas. And will go out for Port Darwin throw. Nguyen. Going to go back to Savas. It'll hold up well for the attacking midfielder. Ball into the box. And Miller sees it go out of play. So corner kick for Port Darwin, one of the few times 
They've had a chance to attack. It's been now in the form of a corner. Nevertheless, an opportunity for the Wharf used to try and find the back of the net. Comes short and quickly by Crowden. Away from Kwana. And further away from Moreno. Prifty receives and receives early. Fronted by Carrington. Turns away well, Prifty. Looking to edge it wide. Vazanellis, heavy touch. Gets it forward to Crowden. Savas continues a run down the line. Crowden obliges. And Andrew Savas now. Port Darwin building up a bit of steam as Nguyen goes back to Savas. And Olympic trying to get it away. Reeve keeps it alive. Nguyen. Possession with Port Darwin. Cross comes inside and Gikas makes the claim. Confident keeper is in the air. His kick is sent wide. Kathapoulos competing with McGlennon. And referee says... Nothing in that, I think. And attention required for Catapoulos here. It was a sharp turn. Hasn't moved all that much. As we cross over to some sponsors again in Steel Line and NTF, Steel Line service over and above. NTF, your local construction supplier. Hudson Apartments, if you're looking for a place to stay in the northern suburbs, Hudson Apartments is not far out of your way. As well, jumping on board this year, Crab Claw Island Resort. If you're looking for somewhere to stay just a little outside of Darwin, a nice scenic retreat, then Crab Claw Island Resort is your place to be. Catapoulos looks okay to continue, perhaps just going to Test out the body here, see if he can persevere through. No, no. I think a substitute will be required for Catapulus here. It's very early in the cup and season campaign. You don't want to risk anything. As throw goes for Port Darwin, they continue things on. Sharing and out by Prifty. Forward by McGlennon. Nia Curry gets in the way. Now Isaac Voicey. Daniele Ferry. Combination there. As McGlennon looks just to get it out of play for a throw in for Olympic. Ferry crosses inside. Connor Miller looking to advance things further forward. McGlennon with the header. Voicey inside. Michael Hylard takes it down. Cushioned pass looking for Nguyen. His ball goes up in the air. Crowden forced to work. Heavy touch by Crowden. And Nguyen wins it. Miller wants to keep it alive. Almost through as a substitute can be made here. For Darwin Olympic. And Ponlu Yin is the man to come in. Substituted for Billy Kathapoulos. So Ponlu Yin on. And Billy Kathapoulos off. Moreno. Skillfully done. Kwana. Miller. So back to 11 v 11 and the substitute in Ponlu Yin. Near Curry. Miller. Across to Nia Curry. 
Crosses inside, gets a touch off there. Heard by everyone as Prifty trying to continue in the free kick. Conceded there by Craig Greenwood. Coach of Port Down there, Colin Habgood looks away with a little bit of despair. There's very few players you want to be presiding over a ball in this particular area, and Andrew Prifty would have to be one of those few players that any goalkeeper would be a little hesitant to face, but Danny L.A. Ferry steps up to this one as well as Juan Moreno. Prifty, I guess, had the last one, he'll be saying. So, Danny L.A. Ferry, number nine, Juan Moreno, wearing number 11, who will be the one to strike it? Ferry on the left, Moreno on the right. In comes Danny L.A. Ferry with the strike. Oh, and it's not too far. Dipping down late. Just goes out of play for... A goal kick. It's done very well so far. As put under pressure quickly, Greenwood. And Chin just forced to get it out into touch. Certainly we wanted to hold on these last 10 minutes. Port Darwin and have their coach in Habgood trying to clean up some of this defensive lapses we've seen so far. Voicey forward. Cleared up into the air by Greenwood. Nia Curry reading it underneath. Heads it wide. Sonam sharing. We'll get to it first. And away from Yin. Well done. Here is Jake McGlennon. Sends it forward, but Miller in the way. Ponlu Yin. Moreno. Oh, sorry, to Prifty. Prifty Loses out here. Hylard gives the ball away. Voicey pokes it forward. Ferry. Yin looking to go quickly. Chin reads it well. Yin still there. Moreno to Voicey. Brings it down inside to Yin. And oh, too many touches there. Olympic in delicate space. They perhaps should have just laced one there. And trying to do the team-like approach. As Jason Lee hoofs it up into the air. Tane Stevenson, Voicey, Kwana. Now Tane Stevenson. Early one to Will Reef. Ponlu Yin. Will Reef. Now Tane Stevenson. Inside to Prifty, trying to poke it wide, but Hylard's there, and so is his defensive man in Craig Greenwood. Joshua Chin, all the way back to Jason Lee. Pressure applied. Greenwood almost gets it to Crowden, but Kwana's there. Moreno back to Kwana. Greenwood needs to be careful here. Andre Prifty now with possession. Looking to get it through here. Carrington almost touches it on for Yin. Chin away. Savas further forward now. Ty Nguyen. Miller, toughly done there. Savas pokes it back to Hylard. Now Ponlu Yin, chance from distance for Yin, and it gets a wicked deflection on the way through as he went for the strike. So easily enough gathered by Jason Lee. And now Sonam Chering to Vazanellis. Now Chering. Can he have pace to unleash here? Further on is Nguyen, back to Vazanellis. Assesses inside, looks for the long cross to Crowden. Kwana, his head is good. Savas, still with Andrew Savas, looking to dink it over for Crowden, but the run didn't continue. Instead, Geekus with Olympic, the goalkeeper, takes possession and switches things. Nia Curry out wide. Shorter ball to Danny L.A. Ferry. They're going to dink one over the top. Nicely done from Joshua Chin. I must say, although his side's 2 0 down, the defender has been one of their better players in this first half. Nice combination from Moreno and Kwana. Juan Moreno looking for the long ball. 
Comes out wide here to Pon Lu Yin. Onside and with possession, Pon Lu Yin. In for Ferry. Takes the touch away from the defender. Still Ferry and going for the shot there, Daniele Ferry, on his weaker foot. Not enough strength behind it, and it goes straight to the goalkeeper. Jason Lee sends it forward. Now Miller. Voicey. Still with Isaac Voicey. Almost looking to get it through. Out here for Yin. Now Miller. Yin. Cherrying back to do some defending. And goes out of play as we've got just over five minutes. Near Kudri throwing it to Reeve. Voicey, near Curry, to Reef. Now Tane Stevenson, looking to burst forward. Tane Stevenson, his pass finds its way to Ferry. Still with Daniele Ferry, goes to ground but gets it back to Miller. A nice pass through for Pon Lu Yin, takes it down, across to Ferry, strikes and it goes in. That's a double for... Daniele Ferry and Darwin Olympic really having fun now. A double to the Italian. And another great strike there. This one a lot more composed to guide it into the back of the net. 3-0 to Olympic. 40 and a half minutes gone. Perhaps now things looking a little bit more simple. So Port Darwin with four minutes of regulation time in this first half. Still want to keep a good account of themselves as they go towards the halftime interval. Hylard looking to come wide. Crowden with some hard running. Kwana keeping up with pace. And the referee says he's won the ball as well. So throw in for Olympic. Kwana inside. Hylard. His ball finds Savas, but Vazanellis combines with Savas in the end. Now Newen. Good turn of pace, but Miller looking to hold him down. Stevenson with strength. Moreno. Ferry, Kwana, Moreno, still with Moreno, Kwana, back to Stevenson, strong defender, as we saw moments ago, William Reeve, ball in the centre, finds Miller, looking to continue on for Yin, but Carrington's there, Vazanellis, near Curry out of position and sharing, I was aware of that, Vazanellis, he gives possession away though to Miller, Open acres there for Daniele Ferry. Perhaps we'll want to find a teammate. They dink it over the top. Pon Lu Yin. Great run. Oh, and a heavy touch from Pon Lu Yin. Guilt edged opportunity. Threw on goal, but just a heavy touch from the attacking substitute. Sees it go through to the goalkeeper. And Highlard forward. Near Curry. Underneath it, Vazanellis. Trying to come out of his half. Chering. Given away. Near Curry. Prifty. Closed down in the end by Chering. Prifty gets it forward. Moreno trying to get away. Instead, this one will go all the way out of play for a Port Darwin throw. Two minutes of regulation time. 3-0 lead to Olympic. As McGlennon will come in with the throw. Looks inboard for Savas. Takes possession down well and gets it forward to Newen. Holds up behind him, but will look to get wide to Crowden. Stevenson's in the better position, though. Wins it for Geekus as goalkeeper. Now Reeve. Finds near Curry. Miller. 
Back to Larry Niakuri. Miller. Searches inboard. Has Juan Moreno there. Isaac Voicy. Driven pass forward, looking for Daniele Ferry. Carrington heads out. George Vazanellis. Michael Hylard given away to Moreno. Now Miller once again. A little behind Ferry. Carrington's there. There is McGlennon. Looking wide for Chering, but Reeves there, even though a heavy touch. Sees it go back to Geekus. Geekus first time to Stevenson. Olympic want to continue the momentum. Moreno, heavy touch. Stevenson still there. And now Moreno. And referee brings play to a halt. And the referee says he's okay, just needs a moment. And it will be a drop ball here. So drop ball for Port Darwin. And they will go forward here. We're Andrew Savas. Solo run, trying to come away from Voicey. Now Nguyen, looking to thread it back here. Ty Nguyen, chance to drive. Oh, and it's a wonder goal. And Ty Nguyen scores a fantastic shot for Port Darwin. Caught the keeper, perhaps unawares there. Just before the end of the half, Port Darwin have re-injected life into this contest. And just before half time, the Wolfies peg one back. And so it's 3-1. Miller. Olympic will want to bounce back from that. Shot goal. Yin. Threading it back through for Connor Miller. Pace to advance away. Connor Miller. To Ferry. Still with Ferry. To Yin. Oh, and another shot. That blazes over. And so, half time here. Darwin Football Stadium. Larrakia Park. It's Darwin Olympic who raced away early to a 3-0 lead. Pegged back late by a stunning goal from Ty Nguyen. Two goals for Daniel A. Ferry. One from Connor Miller. And at the end there, Ty Nguyen for Port Darwin. Scores here at halftime. 3-1 to Olympic. We'll have a quick break and be joined with you with a second half after this.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The second half of this Australia Cup round four contest not far away from starting, and it's been a contest thus far. Olympic skipped away to a 3-0 lead before a Ty Nguyen strike towards the end of the first half has reignited Port Darwin's cause as they get things kicked off and underway. They'll be going right to left on your screens in their claret and blue kit as now Joshua Chint goes to Hylard. Savas combining with Hylard. This is a good start from Port Darwin if they can keep it up. And off of Stevenson and Miller. Back to Geekus. Olympic will want to start the first as they... Sorry, the second as they did the first and command their ascendancy as Moreno has possession. Port Darwin did make two substitutes at the interval. George Vazanellis and Sonam Chering were substituted, replaced by the man on your screens there in Gittens and also... Wild Jock as Savas wins possession back beautifully. Goes up to Wild Jock and possession comes to an end as a result of an Olympic foul. So free kick to Port Darwin after Wild Jock there. The substitute earning his stripe straight away going to ground. Player is down behind the field of play. And that is Ty Nguyen. It's had a great game so far but it is the first competitive hit out of season 2024 for both of these sides fitness will undoubtedly come into play as the match continues some teams opting for pre-season hit outs others with the traditional pre-season schedule so Ty Nguyen behind the field of play back to his feet as Andrew Savas with this free kick will Look to see if he can make the Olympic defence a little uneasy. Savas looking for a short ball. Goes backwards to Carrington. Further back to Chin. Now Carrington. Given possession away, but McGlennon can continue things. Near Curry with a great challenge. Ball goes out of play. Port Darwin throw. And McGlennon with the throw in, finding Gittens, trying to come past Reeve. Reeve keeps possession, Yin looking to take it further forward, Ferry. Now Voicey, Olympic could be out here, back across to Miller. Good touch, keeps his feet. Connor Miller, back out wide to Honlu Yin, substitute, curling one over the top and Voicey in space. Voicey strikes. And it's a great save from Jason Lee. Carrington trying to clear his lines. Yin still there. Pondu Yin side netting. And a goal kick. Bit of miscommunication from the Wolfies in the back line. Almost made to pay, but Olympic couldn't quite find the venomous touch there by Pondu Yin. Of course, earlier substituted on for Billy Kathapoulos, who came off with an injury. Didn't look like it. a pretty one either. As Port Darwin kick us off with this goal kick and Chin. Looking for his captain in Crowden. Finds him. Turns into the pressure of Kwana. Hylard. Back there to Greenwood. Now Wold Jock under the pressure of Stevenson. Goes to ground again and referee says this time just to throw it. Perhaps the physicality of Tane Stevenson a little too much to bear for some. As Wal Jock remains to ground. Back to his feet now though after a bit of a word by the referee. And so a throw in for Port Darwin. And in there by Greenwood to Wold Jock and off the head of the substitute and out of play for throw into Olympic. And looks like a substitute lying in wait for Port Darwin. And that one will take place. 
as looks like Ty Newen's night is up. His number's been called. He'll come to the sidelines. And looks like a attacking replacement. Cameron Eels come onto the pitch. Look to keep the fire burning for Port Darwin. Energetic replacement. Newen's night's done and Cameron Eels trying to keep Port Darwin alive and really continue the second half as they ended the first. Kwana inside. Ferry looking to touch it in. Crowden. Touch inside for Gittens, looking for a first-time ball forward. While Jock almost through to Eels. Stevenson back to Geekus. Geekus finds Stevenson. Pokes it wide to Kwana. Looking to turn away from Crowden. And referee says throw in. Port Darwin ball. Savas looking to go early. And couldn't quite be kept alive. And trying his best there to keep... Possession inboard there was Jock. Instead, it's just a goal kick for Darwin Olympic. Already played six minutes of this second half. Approaching 8.20 p.m. local time here on this thrilling Tuesday evening of cup football. Live from Australia's top end in the Northern Territory. Now William Reef. Not afraid to go lateral. And he does so to Geekus. Looking to unlock the Port Darwin attacking line. Stevenson. Moreno trying to flick it forward for Prifty, but Carrington instead. Now here is Chin. Sends it wide. Instead, Kwana takes possession. Olympic perhaps sensing the impetus to attack. Is Prifty looking to turn away from Chin? Referee says play on. Ball petering wide. Crowden keeps it alive. And Stevenson gets a good sliding foot to that. Caresses it out of play. Port Darwin throw. Of course, substitute still lying in wait for Darwin Olympic. Perhaps Coach Lewis Bunton will look to employ one of them soon. Wall Jock back to Simon Crowden. To Jock and in an offside position there while Jock. Not really reading the lines. Getting too advantageous beyond the last defender. So offside free kick to Darwin Olympic. Now Geekus. Put under pressure there by Jock. Voicey. Comes away from Savas, the youngster bursting with possession. Needs an option. Juan Moreno provides one. Ball goes further wide. Daniele Ferry not quite receptive to receive that. Looks to his teammates just to say, I know it was going in my direction, but I wasn't reading the pass there. So instead, Port Darwin nearly in the center of the park via the throw. Crosses that. Dotted line as Wold Jock gives possession away. Prifty. Now Connor Miller. Chance for Olympic. And Miller's played a lovely ball through to Pon Lu Yin. Comes away from McGlennon. Avila. And strikes it certainly with Venom. But not enough accuracy. Goes out of play. And over the bar. Perhaps someone's bagged themselves a freebie there. Ball going over into the car park. Carrington. Across to Lee. Dangerous stuff here by Port Darwin. Nearly giving it away. Getting back there is Hylard. Port Darwin press the eject button. Get the ball forward. And they clear their lines. Throw in to Olympic. Uh, nearly 10 minutes played in the second half. The score has not changed as yet. A 
Olympic happy with the scoreline as it stands. They'll advance through to the next round as things remain untouched. And Prifty forced out of that. Good body there by Craig Greenwood and marshals it out for his team's throw. Advancing, stealing some yards as he throws down the line. Kwana heads inside to Miller. Miller gets it forward. Ferry trying to turn away from his defender. Jason Lee calls early, says my ball. Carrington told to go aside as Lee clears it forward. Miller with the header underneath. Savas rises with Voicy. Touch back there by Eels and Kwana just with plenty of time and space to allow it roll in behind. His team will remain with possession via the throw. And to recap the scorers for you, it was a double from Daniele Ferry and Connor Miller for Olympic. And just before the end of the first half, Ty Newen with a wonderful goal, perhaps the goal of the bunch. A wicked volley in the first half by Daniele Ferry as well. To contend with his either or goal of the game so far. Certainly been treated to some exquisite attacking action from both teams. Olympic trying to turn the screw and put the game beyond doubt. Delivery in there from Moreno. Header in there by Prifty. Highlard away for Voicey here. Delicate footwork from Isaac. Voicey strikes. Oh, and that's a wonderful solo goal. The youngster fires Olympic further ahead. And perhaps now it's more than a formality. Isaac Voicey took the ball to his feet and did the work himself. He's been behind a lot of the great play his team's produced so far, but... A bit of icing on top of the red and white cake for Darwin Olympic and Isaac Voicey scoring a wonderful goal. Long time coming. It's been a player that in the 2023 campaign is, should have had a lot more goals than he has. But perhaps this is the year for Isaac Voicey to really come out of his own and show the league that he is one of the most exciting talents going around. An injury though behind the field of play and it does look like a And so a fourth goal for Darwin Olympic, which now makes things increasingly difficult for Port Darwin with just over half an hour to go. Just over half an hour to play. And Port Darwin might want to make a defensive change. It's Joshua Chin still is remaining off the field. Perhaps he can continue, but he'll just be looked at by the medical staff behind their goals. But other side of that, kick off for Port Darwin. They find themselves 4-1 down. Isaac Voicy saw Ty Nguyen's goal and says, I'll raise you one. And scored a brilliant solo finish. Restores his team's three-goal lead. And kicked off and back underway we go. Savas back to Greenwood. 
Crowden. Crowden trying to go down the line, but only goes down to touch. Olympic throw in. And perhaps it is the end of the night for Joshua Chin. Ball threaded through, and the flag goes up against Ponlu Yin. Offside is the call. And so, ball needs to be placed in line with the offside free kick, which will be taken. 19. Nice challenge there from Niyakuri. Voicey with the header. Yin further on. This could be a run for Ferry. Trying to get away from Carrington. Carrington just enough to get it away. Now Gittens. Wide to Cameron Eels. Gittens. Closed quickly. Prifty away from Gittens. Now Andrew Prifty in front of Ferry, not quite able to go through. And that's because the forward was offside. So possession brought back for the free kick. Almost through for his hat trick there, Daniele Ferry, but you'll need to wait for that one. McLennan, wide to Cameron Eels. Prifty gets there first. Gittens in chase. Prifty still there and wins the free kick. Certainly one of the better performers as well, Andrew Prifty. Another one of the new additions into this. Taiwan Olympic outfit. And so another change imminent for Port Darwin. I believe it's a replacement change for Joshua Chin. Isaac Haynes on for Joshua Chin. So back to 11. As Nia Curry delivering a swinging ball. Pon Lu Yin brings it down. Cleared away by Greenwood. While Jock. Kwana gets there first in front of Crowden. Now Voicey. Andre Prifty. Curling one over the top. This will sit well for Ferry who strikes first time. And over the top of the goal there. Not quite into the car park, but... Enough that we require a new ball from the sideline. So goal kick harmlessly. Port Darwin to bring it back inside. Jason Lee, the goal kick. Pon Lu Yin controls it down well. Prifty trying to get away from Hylar, does well, and I guess obliging the shot after a lot of hard work. Can probably afford him to have one. And that goes astray, probably just the one. His teammates are certainly out for goals tonight. Clearance by Port Darwin. Gittens takes control well. Eels turns away from possession. Connor Miller looking to burst away from McGlennon. Bit of pace on Connor Miller as well as he looks to come inside the box and put out and behind into touch by McGlennon. Kept up with Connor Miller there, Jake McGlennon. Uh, corner kick, which could prove deadly for the red and white outfit. Short corner taken. Juan Moreno. Andre Prifty. Striking towards goal and needed to be good there. And certainly was Jason Lee. Denying what would have been a wonder goal by Andre Prifty. 
two-handed palm out there. Puts it behind for a corner, so danger not quite diminished. Olympic with another chance to find a fifth. Ball comes inside, flicked on header by Gittens. Juan Moreno trying it from distance, gets a deflection as it goes through, and goalkeeper gathers that one. Forward by Jason Lee. Good clearance here while Jock can profit. His touch is backwards, but he elects to go forward. Trying to keep it alive, but the referee says nothing doing. And out of play for a throw in for Darwin Olympic. Less than 25 minutes remain. As now Prifty trying to come away and Referee does say there is a free kick in there, a minor one against Craig Greenwood, who is on a yellow card. It needs to be remembered. But it shouldn't do much harm. Set piece might, though. As this one perhaps looks to go long, short for the moment as Moreno... Away from Crowden. And now Prifty crossed into the box. Lee comes out. Ponlu Yin controls and strikes. Goal for Darwin Olympic. A fifth. Five star Reds have a fifth. And now they are further in front and away. If the voicey goal. Made it a formality. This one really seals the deal. Ponlu Yin adds a goal to his name. And a substitution looking to be made by Darwin Olympic as well. Upon the fifth goal. Another one of their new faces in Braden McLennan. Come onto the pitch. It's waiting in the near side, perhaps a imminent substitution for Will Reeve, who has come to the touchline. It is Will Reeve, a wonderful night outing tonight by Will Reeve. Comes off the field of play. And Braden McLennan coming on for a, his debut off the bench to shore things up for the Reds in defence. One of the easier jobs for a defender to perhaps be substituted on the field of play when you're 5-1 up, but a debut's special all the same. So uh, good occasion for Braden McLennan. As Port Darwin are looking to lick their wounds, perhaps. Simon Crowden on the far side, limping away. Perhaps his night's over as well. As he comes across on the far side. So on in his place is going to be Robert Davies. So Robert Davies on. Simon Crowden off. Captain, unfortunately, night comes to an end. And so Olympic. 5-1 ahead now. Port Darwin kicking us back underway. Yields to Savas. Back here to Carrington. Almost picked away. Savas chests it forward. McLennan gets his first touch in there. But Savas wins possession. Now Carrington to Savas. Wide it goes to the substitute there for Port Darwin. Does well in his first Instance Haynes, Hylard to Greenwood, Savas to Craig Greenwood. Now Michael Hylard, Andrew Savas looking to send Port Darwin forward. Cameron Eels looking further along, but perhaps while Jock was in an offside position, didn't contest for the ball. Short by Geekus to 
McLennan. McLennan forward to Ferry. Nice touch from the striker. Away from Gittens. Short to McLennan. Now near Curry. Centrally for Voicey. Wonderfully done from Olympic. Come out of defence. Stevenson. Advancing forward with an attack. Looking to feed Kwana, but Greenwood's there and sees the pressure and goes out of play. Olympic throw deep on this left-hand flank. Kwana, the captain who steamed forward, will take the throw. Back to Juan Moreno. Now Voicey, tackled by Hylard and out of play once again. Olympic in no real urgency here. Throw in by Kwana, away from Savas, and Olympic advance forward down the field. And another throw in to the Reds. Kwana with ball in hand, looking inboard. Ferry trying to keep it alive. Savas out. Port Darwin further away, but. Will only come back that same direction by the form of Tane Stevenson. Kwana with the throat. Proceeds inboard. Prifty brought to ground. Referee says play on. Almost a nice spin turn there from Jake McLennan, but Kwana has it. Stevenson to Isaac Voicey. Now Connor Miller. Further wide. Here's Ponlu Yin. First time ball inside. Savas away, but Ferry brings it down. Savas are good on the second attempt. Cameron Eels. Gittens forces it wide. Now Haynes. Next ball needs to be good. It's sent forward for Woljock, and that's a handball there. And trying to control it illegally there. Woljock given a yellow card. Trying to control it with the arm there. And a substitution for Darwin Olympic. Samuel Kwana will come off here. And come on the field of play is Alejandro Diaz. So Samuel Kwana off and Alejandro Diaz on. Another new face for Darwin Olympic fans to cheer. Of course, last season, plied his trade with the Port Darwin outfit. Miller down the line looking for Ponlu Yin. Carrington, nice sliding challenge. Gets it away. No fuss there from the centre half. And out of play for a throw. Seated all the way out of play. So the wind took it diagonally. It is a corner kick instead. Has been quite breezy. This Tuesday night here in Australia's top end as Prifty comes inside. Ferry with the header. And Savas away. Voicey comes back to retrieve possession. Now Geekus to Braden McLennan. All wide looking for Prifty and instead it goes out of plate for a throw. This time Darwin Olympic just on this near touchline. Near Curry looks forward. Prifty backing into Haynes. Still with Endry Prifty. A couple players trying to dispossess Prifty. Savas. Prifty does well. Hylard and... Voicey pinned for the free kick there. Hylard went to ground. Be taken by Craig Greenwood. Although he 
needs to go back a few yards there, Craig Greenwood. So Greenwood to send this one forward. He needs an option first of all to present. Near Curry. Uses it forward to Pon Lu Yin. Dispossessed there by Haynes. While Jock turns away from Haynes. Looks to go inboard. Cameron Eels with a chance. Oh, and almost read it through to Wild Jock instead. Olympic looks to come away near Curry. Can't quite pirouette away from danger. Port down with the throw. Right underneath the touchline here. Isaac Haynes with ball in hand. Looks to go longer. Ponlu Yin cuts it away. Voicy. Oh, nicely done. That's a wonderful bit of play from Voicy. And the free kick is conceded. Voicy does very well. Ball sent over immediately. Looking for Ferry. And a free kick on the centre half. The referee says doing a little too much to win the ball there. On a hat-trick perhaps. Daniele Ferry hungry for his third. Carrington wide to Haynes. And a come down the line past Ying. Pon Lu Yin holding him up and possession stays alive. Olympic in their defensive half. Centrally looking for Ferry. Takes it down. Impedes there. Michael Hylard might fancy an attempt here. They're going to dink it over. Alejandro Diaz cuts it away. Stevenson up in the air. Voicey rises well. Cameron Eel sends it wide for Davies. Chance for Port Darwin. Cutting inside. Stevenson away. Moreno trying to pace away to this. Juan Moreno. Still with Olympic. Advancing down the line. Adam Carrington gets there first. Now McLennan. Moreno to Miller. And the play is paused here as... Defender Tane Stevenson stays to ground. Luis da Costa and Parascos Coombe remain on the benches. Substitutes if needed. Of course, there were goals aplenty when these sides met last year. Round one of 2023 in the Premier League, Olympic won 5-3. In round 13, Olympic won 3-2. And in round 21 of last year, it was a solitary goal that really fired Olympic into the final series of 2023. So while there have been goals, usually it is a lot tighter between the Reds and the Wolfies when they meet. This cup game has been an exception as Miller... Sends it wide to Yin. Perhaps more goals come beckoning as a header goes into the air. By Greenwood, Miller, Nia Curry, Yin. Ponlu Yin back to Nia Curry. Centrally finds Voicey with a lot of time at his disposal. Now Juan Moreno. Diaz cut out there by Davies. Dinking it back over the top there. Jake McLennan, but Stevenson's there for Olympic. Voicey. And looking to get forward. And the offside flag rises to deny Ferry. Took his time there. The linesman to raise the flag, perhaps a little closer than first thought. Nevertheless, the flag does rise to... Deny Ferry. So just over 10 minutes of regulation time to go here. As Greenwood sends this forward. Looking for Davies. Stevenson heads strong. Miller comes away for Cameron Eels. Miller still. 
Now upon Lu Yin. Referee says play on. And further away from Haynes. Voicey. Moreno. Further on perhaps. Going forward there. Oh, and almost looked to be a perfect ball there. Might have to see that one a second time. It looked like Prifty perfectly was played through, but linesman on the near side disagrees. As Port Darwin get back underway, while Jock going to come away from Stevenson. Ball inside for Davies. McLennan reads it beautifully. Now Voicey. Prifty. He looks to go forward, headed away by Carrington. Voicey. Miller. Ponlu Yin. Ferry. Miller to Ponlu Yin. And his ball skews a little wide. Two right there. It wasn't the right ball. As Lee sends it up into the air. St Stevenson looked to get the header. Players remain to ground here for Port Darwin. Sportsmanship there shown by the Olympic forward just to assist the Port Darwin player with a muscle complaint. to his feet there Greenwood certainly be sore tomorrow so it was a free kick to Port Darwin as their players come back onto the pitch Savas to Hylard Giving possession away. As now Alejandro Diaz looks to come away for Darwin Olympic. With possession at his feet. Skips past Saviswell. Alejandro Diaz, ball comes inside. Ferry takes it down and his strike is narrowly wide. Could have had a lot more goals to his name, Daniel A. Ferry, if he perhaps found the back of the net. A couple more instances, but certainly we'll be happy with two goals on debut. While Jock away from Diaz. Now Braden McLennan the other way. Juan Moreno looking to switch things here. Pon Lu Yin away from Haynes perhaps, but his ball's given away. Cameron Eels. On Lee Yin getting back into possession, or into position rather, as McLennan looking to dink it over. Flag stays down as this ball unfortunately will skim out of play. Uh, throw in to go to Port Darwin late on now. Resistance presented itself for a moment leading into half time, but Two goals in the second half by Olympic have quite cooled the fire that was starting to brew for the Wharfies. Throw in by Alejandro Diaz. Voicey. Yin looking for a deft touch there for Ferry. Poor Darwin really just clearing the ball, not really retaining possession at the moment. McLennan, Miller, further on, and Haynes just simply clears his lines. Out of play for a throw. So taken by Larry Neokuri. Looking for Ferry, but 
comes away. Port Darwin trying to retain possession as Andrew Savas comes to Gittens. Miller, sorry, Prifty. Andrew Prifty wanted away from Gittens. Now finds Miller. Olympic with a chance now. Miller from distance. What a shot from Connor Miller. Absolute rocket into the back of the net. And the Englishman has a second and Olympic have a sixth. Marvellous strike from Miller. Take two hands to count Olympics goals this evening. 6-1. Just over five minutes to go. As an Olympic fan, you'd be very happy. As a Port Darwin fan, you'd be looking to the weekend to get back into action. Of course, Port Darwin to play on Saturday at 4 p.m against Darwin Hearts in their season opener. Darwin Olympic, of course, will also be action on Saturday night against Casuarina FC in what's going to be a wonderful contest. Ponlu Yin. Prifty. We're going to go back to Yin. Hylard wide to Gittens. Yin. Prifty. Now Miller. Wonderful, strong performance by Connor Miller. Wide to Alejandro Diaz. Now Juan Moreno looking over the top and not quite reading the path of goal there from Daniele Ferry. Carrington carries possession. Just over three minutes to go. Back here to Greenwood. Lee driving it wide. Finds Haynes. Pokes it forward for Gittens. Nia Curry holds possession at bay. Still with Nia Curry. Gittens goes to ground. Cross comes in. Ferry still. Voicey. Oh, what a goal! Isaac Voicey. The youngster. Adds another goal. And now Olympic, seven goals. Oh, gee, this side's looking impressive in 2024. If we're going off their cup performance, it's certainly been a strong one. Seven, one. For Darwin Olympic. And Isaac Voicey at the double. If you're watching at home, take a pick as to what's your favourite Voicey goal. Solo run, magical finish. Options are plenty as Port Darwin kick us back off. Hylard, Greenwood. Now Carrington. Across to Greenwood. Back across for Jason Lee. Now Carrington. Still with Adam Carrington. Now across to Craig Greenwood. Jason Lee under a bit of pressure here from the goalkeeper, from the striker. And forced to clear his lines there, Jason Lee. Playing with fire. Against Ferry. But he's able to survive that one. Prifty. Looking to get through Haynes there. Referee says play on as it comes to Jock and Stevenson. Stevenson wins. Gittens. Wild Jock. Davies asking for the ball. It comes into his direction. Takes it down, but Moreno's there. The Reds are just swarming Port Darwin at the moment. No respite, it seems, for the Wharfies as Olympics swarming to the ball first. Diaz, calm with possession. 
Alejandro Moreno, seconds elapse of regulation time. It's up to the referee of how long we have left to play. Voicey threads it through to Diaz beautifully. Olympic through on goal once again. And it goes over and out behind for a corner kick. The referee, whistle in the mouth, says, I've seen enough. And Darwin Olympic victorious and through to the next round of the Australia Cup. They proceed forward to the bye in the next round in which they'll play in an all-Darwin semi-final on the 11th of May. Port Darwin, their cup run is over. They'll be in action again on Saturday at 4pm against the Darwin Hearts. Darwin Olympic in action against Casuarina. And of course, the next Australia Cup match will be next Tuesday, the 26th of March, with Darwin Hearts playing Azuri United. And we have Women's Challenge Cup tomorrow, same time at 7.15pm, with Mindalasis taking on Darwin Olympic. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, my name has been George Skufezis. That's been the final score. Olympic 7, Port Darwin 1. We'll have a safe rest of your e evening.